Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Cute Crafter and in this video I want to share some important tips about working with clay and starting this exciting journey with you. These techniques are the foundation of working with clay and if you learn them, they will be very helpful and make your sculpting process easier. The first point is about the dust in our environment. We always have dust and we cannot eliminate it. However, we can reduce it by following a few principles and tips. First, if your workspace is near a window, keep the window closed to prevent dust from coming in. Second, wear clothes that do not shed fibers. Third, work in a place where family members or pets do not frequently pass by, as their movement will stir up dust and cause it to stick to the clay, your hands and your space. Clay is sticky and easily attracts everything. Furthermore, avoid using your phone or other items while working and prepare everything you need beforehand to minimize movement. These are important tips to follow for keeping your clay and models clean. Despite this, our clay will not be completely dust-free and you might need to clean it with wet wipes and some water at the end. Before starting, wash your hands and dry them with a clean cotton cloth. Wipe your desk and tools to remove dust and finally use a piece of extra clay to clean your hands between your fingers and your work table. Keep this extra clay beside you while working to continually clean your tools and hands. This routine helps keep your artwork clean and beautiful. If you look at the world around you, you'll see that everything is made up of geometric shapes circles, rectangles, squares, cubes. These shapes are fundamental in everything, such as painting, design, knitting, embroidery. In the world of clay, it is the same. The first skill you need to develop as a sculptor is making geometric shapes as cleanly as possible. Until you can make a smooth shape, you should not move on to the other models. Therefore, the first and the most important practice is making geometric shapes that are flawless and dust-free. Once you have this skill, you can easily make other models. So first we clean the dust and then start kneading the clay. Beginners might find the clay sticking to their hands. To prevent this, you should oil your fingers with baby oil and then knead the clay with the middle parts of your fingers, avoiding the fingerprints and nails, which increases thickness. Knead the clay gently with the middle part of your hand until it softens, then knead it with the middle of your fingers for a few minutes until it's smooth. If the clay sticks to your hand, knead it gently until it comes off. This requires practice. After several attempts, the clay will no longer stick and you will have better control over your fingers. To make a smooth shape, take the required amount of clay and knead it a bit. Creating a smooth shape is the most important geometric form in sculpting. Place the extra clay in a plastic bag to prevent it from drying. Hold the clay between your hands for 30 seconds and press firmly to remove cracks and lines. Then, without applying pressure, start rolling the clay quickly. Speed is more important than pressure for shaping. After a few attempts, you will have a perfect smooth shape. Just repeat this process and you'll see the results. To make a cylinder, Knead the clay until it's soft, then remove cracks by pressing hard and then roll it quickly. As I mentioned, the spherical shape is the foundation for all clay models and techniques. After making a seamless ball, use a shaping tool to roll the clay. Your shaping tool can be any smooth or polished object that can shape the clay without marking it. The more you roll the clay in different directions, the more it will be elongated into a cylindrical shape. Apply gentle pressure while rolling to shape the clay evenly. The pressure should be gentle and with continuous practice, you'll master this skill and create diverse shapes and sizes. 
The third geometric shape is the cube. As before, knead the clay and shape it using the tool. Place the spherical clay on the table and apply direct gentle pressure with the tool. Then, rotate the clay and apply pressure again. Repeat this for all sides until the cube is formed. If you continuously rotate one side and apply pressure, it will turn into a rectangular cuboid. Keep rotating and pressing from different angles until you achieve the desired shape. These techniques are the basics of working with clay. We need to master these skills from the beginning to create our desired models. For the first few days, practice these techniques and make perfect geometric shapes. This is your assignment. Create and practice different geometric shapes. Remember, learning the basics takes more time and you won't master a skill with just one attempt. You must practice repeatedly for several days. As a sculptor, dedicate time to learning the basics. With a strong foundation, the subsequent steps will be quicker and easier. So, take your time with the initial shapes, be patient and practice, so we can move on to the next session and techniques. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. You can ask your questions in comments. Subscribe for more. Stay tuned. Bye!